dazzling display of the northern lights could return this evening after putting on quite the show last night in Chicago and around the world. Good evening, I'm Timon Bradley. And I'm Jackie Bang. WGN's Jewel Hillary is live at Montrose Harbor with our top story, Jewel. Hey, Jackie and Timon. So I'm one of those who unfortunately I missed seeing the northern lights late last night and super early this morning. But as mentioned, there is a possibility that we could see a slightly weaker display of these beautiful lights tonight and tomorrow. An amazing and colorful phenomenon seen around the globe lit up the night and early morning sky Friday into Saturday. You were disappointed that you didn't get to see the lights. Well, yeah, I, I didn't know that they were going to be out last night, so I heard this morning and I was I was kind of bummed. Evan Miller is referring to the brilliant purple, green, yellow and pink hues of the northern lights reported worldwide with sightings here in Chicago and suburbs as well as states including Minnesota and Texas and across the globe in several countries like Germany and Argentina. Basically what happens is part of the sun actually lifts off the surface, right? So this plasma, the charged particles, the magnetic field that makes up the sun, part of it actually lifts off the sun and streams away into space. Images of the northern lights from Earth and space are stunning. They're the result of an unusually strong solar storm. And according to the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, we could see more lights illuminate Chicago's sky Saturday night and early Sunday morning. That would be amazing to see them here in Chicago. I thought you had to go to uh, Alaska to see them or the northern parts of the, the country. I will tell everybody out there, if you have clear skies, Tonight and maybe the, the, the um, um, tomorrow night as well. Go out there, enjoy, enjoy the spectacle. It will be amazing. Well, experts predict that we could see these lights again in our area between 7 and 10 tonight. And then if you're up super early in the morning between 3 and 6 a.m. Reporting live on the north side, I'm Jewel Hillary, WGN News.